All right, so I've never actually been inside a Walmart in my entire life because there's not one of them in Queens, New York, where I live. So I never understood why people wanted me to make a video about Walmart until I looked it up. And holy shit, some of the weirdest people in the world shop at this place. Let's have a look. First, we got this lady who's just printing out pictures of her titties in the middle of Walmart. The best part about this picture is like the sign next to her that has like suggestions of what you could print. Baby pictures, wedding pictures. She's like, nope. Tits. Print them out. I want several copies of these tits in my hand in 60 minutes or less or someone's getting fired. Oh god, I feel bad for this kid. It's probably his first day and already he has to deal with a lubed up bald guy sitting in a shopping cart. There is no amount of training that could prepare you for that situation. What the fuck do you say? Excuse me, sir, do you mind not being all lubed up uh, for no reason? This is Walmart. Um, can you also get out of the shopping cart and stop smoking? and put some shoes on. This guy's breaking like 40 fucking rules, like, dude, get him out of there. Okay, someone explain this one. It looks like a dinosaur shit down aisle six. There's no way that's human shit. It's gotta, it's gotta be a horse shit or something. It wouldn't surprise me at all if a guy rode into Walmart on the back of a horse and the horse was just shitting as he was shopping. No one's cleaning it, no one's like bothered, they're just like, oh yeah, just Shut that register down, and we'll just walk around it all day. Fuck it. Well, at least now we know where this shit came from. Good God. Lady, there is no way that you don't know that there is two handfuls of human shit in those pants. It's not even like a small amount, where it's kind of like, oh, maybe she like moved suddenly and like it slipped out. No, this looks like it was pushed out. Like she flexed her whole body and an explosion of shit came out into her pants. And she was like, I feel fine, let's go shopping. It's so much shit, it looks like she slid into second base and just beat the tag and then stood up and was like, I gotta go to Walmart real quick, I gotta buy some shit. Well isn't this nice and safe? This little kid's got a plastic bag over his entire head and his stupid mother's not phased at all because she's distracted by the fact that the double stuffs are on sale for $2.98 today. Lady, I know it's a steal. It's a great price! $2.98? I would have bought three packs myself. But come on! Your child is about to die, and if he dies, then you go to jail. Which means that you can't enjoy the cookies that you're about to save a bunch of money on. So don't be stupid, okay? Alright, there's only three possible things that this could be. Number one, it's a tit. One of the biggest and saggiest tits in the Northern Hemisphere. Two, she's discreetly trying to steal a basketball from Walmart by stuffing it into her shirt. Or three, she's currently going through the first ever sideways pregnancy. Like the baby's just growing on her fucking hip. I refuse to believe that that's a tit, because if it is a tit, then I'm pretty sure like on a good day, she could tuck it into her pants. And no way. Please tell me this is a joke. I blurred it to be safe, but for those of you who can't even process it enough to figure out what the fuck's going on in this picture, let me tell you, there is a man, butt naked, bent over in front of a hand dryer on a bathroom wall, drying his ass. I'm gonna give you time to let that settle in. Time's up. What the fuck? There is less than zero reasons as to why you are naked in a Walmart bathroom. There is also no reason why your ass should be wet to the point where you feel the need to strip naked and bend over in front of a hand dryer to fucking dry it. It's a hand dryer, not an asshole dryer. Then we got this guy walking around like he's Stanley Yelnats from that movie Holes, walking around with lizards all over him. What the hell's going on? You couldn't leave the lizards at home for fucking eight seconds? And what the hell is this? Those have to be this guy's favorite pair of pants ever. Cause he's fucking strapping them in tight. Those pants aren't going anywhere. You got two belts. Suspenders? Are you shitting me? This guy looks like he's about to go skydiving. I'd be willing to bet that he pisses himself nine times out of ten. Because it's, to get all that off, it probably takes forever. I am so glad that there's no Walmarts in my neighborhood. I don't think I ever want to go in one. What the hell's going on at this place? Are there no rules? Well, that's all for this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe and also subscribe to my podcast. It's called The Basement Yard on iTunes. And I'll see you guys next week. Boom!